Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to solve a multi-plant monopoly problem. Here we're going to have a firm that has two manufacturing plants with different marginal costs of production. A monopoly has an inverse market demand of the following and produces output Q in two manufacturing plants with the following marginal cost of production. In plant one, the marginal cost equals 0.5Q where the subscript represents the plant. And in plant 2, the marginal cost equals Q subscript 2. We want to calculate the company-wide marginal cost. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to take plant 1's marginal cost and we're going to solve it for its, the output, Q subscript 1. So dividing through by 0 0.5, we get output in plant 1 equals 2 times the marginal cost. We're going to do the same thing in plant 2. We're going to take plant 2 and we're going to solve this equation. It's rather simple. We're just going to solve it for Q subscript 2. So Q subscript 2 equals the marginal cost in plant 2. The total output of the firm, Q, equals the output in plant 1 plus the output in plant 2. So we're going to add up our two Q equations, the Q subscript 1 plus Q subscript 2, making our substitutions into this formula. Just rewriting, we're going to drop the subscripts and now adding up the marginal cost, the firm's output equals three times the marginal cost. We're going to solve for marginal cost and now we have the company-wide marginal cost equation. Next step is to get marginal revenue. We take a price equation and a shortcut method is that marginal revenue equals the inverse market demand with a slope that is twice as steep. So instead of minus one-third Q, it's going to be minus two-thirds Q. So that's marginal revenue, the price equation with a slope that is twice as steep. Now we set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Adding the two-thirds Q to both sides. The right-hand side is just Q, so the firm will produce a total of 24 units. And at 24 units, if we evaluate marginal revenue down here, plugging 24 in for Q, the marginal revenue at 24 units is 8. So profit maximization requires that marginal revenue equal the marginal cost in each plant. So we're going to set marginal revenue 8 equal to the marginal cost in plant 1. And the marginal cost in plant 1 was given by the equation earlier. And now solving this for Q subscript 1, 8 divided by 0 0.5 is 16. So out of this 24 units of output, 16 will come from plant 1. As for the rest, uh, setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost in plant 2, recall that the marginal cost in plant 2 just equaled Q subscript 2, so making your substitution the firm will produce 8 units of output in plant 2. So overall, 16 units are coming from plant 1, 8 from plant 2, and that's where the total of 24 units is coming from. To get the profit maximizing price, we can take this 24 and plug it back into our inverse market demand. And here we see that the market price that the monopolist will charge is $16, 24 minus 8. Okay, that's it.